Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the class who is super, super, super excited to do, uh, to interview you because the University of Notre Dame uh, has been quite the popular college, uh, university I should say, uh, in our university project. I think uh, part of that has to do with the, uh, the athletic appeal and the mascot, but a lot of it has to do, uh, I've shown them a couple of videos on, on the campus and, and what the campus looks like, so they've really kind of uh, been very attracted to Notre Dame. So uh, okay. I'm going to introduce you to some of the students that are here. First okay. is uh, Ariana. Hi, Ariana. Uh, Connor. And Connor here, if you ask his mom, will tell you that he's wanted to go to Notre Dame since the day he was born. <laughs> Trevor. Hi. Justin. Justin. DJ. And Casey. Morning. And Casey. And Casey, good morning. <laughs> okay. So they have some questions for you, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Okay, so let, uh, I will have Connor start us off. Go ahead, Connor. Okay. What is your school mascot and school colors? Okay, our school mascot, um, I don't know if you've ever seen it, it's a fighting Irish leprechaun, and our school colors are blue and gold, and this is our, our leprechaun, and you might have seen this. It's a black and white version, but he usually wears green. Okay. Right. We, saw, we saw that on a fire truck, but it had red and yellow on it. Yeah, yeah. This, this icon actually is very popular with a lot of high schools and other schools, so they actually use that this logo um, pretty frequently. Now, was, that, was Notre Dame the first to use that, that version of that logo? Mm -hmm, yeah, so how the story came about, I know that's the next question, that's is right. how did we get our mascot? So we have a lot of... Um, we had a lot of mascots when we were founded. We were founded in 1842 by uh, a French priest by, named Father Soren. And we had a few other mascots. We were called the Ramblers, uh, you know, and like the Irish Terriers. But we got the name when we were actually playing a famous uh, football game against Michigan. Michigan's one of our rivals. University of Michigan. So this football game happened in 1909, and um, during the first half of the football game, it was very, it was very heated, very intense. And the opponents on the Michigan team said to our football players, who actually were majority immigrants, European immigrants from Ireland, Scotland, um, England, they kind of used, they called us the Fighting Irish, um, but it was said in a mean way. It wasn't, it wasn't a nice compliment to us. But in the end, we actually won the game against University of Michigan in 1909. So that's how we got that, that name. We stuck to that name, the Fighting Irish. Um, and it means that we have a lot of determination. We work really hard. And so that's why we decided to stick to that name, the Fighting Irish. Okay, how many students attend Notre Dame? We have about, I would say, 8,000 undergraduates who are here for four years from freshman year to senior year. And then we have about 3,000 graduate students. Um, so that's about 11,000 students in total. Now, as far as colleges go, would that be considered a medium-sized school or a large school? It would probably be considered a medium-sized school, but on a smaller scale. So... Um, a medium-sized school can range between 10,000 to upwards to 20,000. So we're probably on the smaller side of a medium-sized school. Okay. Number five? Four. Four. Go ahead. Go ahead, Justin. Uh, Trevor, is that you? Yeah. Go ahead. Four. How many students start college at Michigan? About 2,000 students start each year. So if we add up 2,000 per year, it would equal 8,000 undergraduates. That's a big difference. We uh, Our last day is on Monday, and uh, we have about 105 that are graduating this year from our building oh. and, and promoting mm -hmm. on to third grade. So it's okay. quite, the, quite the difference uh, with the 2,000 that you would be walking into Caruso with next year, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, so very big difference. <laughs> Go ahead, Trevor. Uh -huh. um, How big are your class sizes? Our class sizes are about 25 people each. So that's the average. 25? Yeah, that's not that very big at all. I mean, that's only about no. six or eight larger than what you have now. That's good. Go ahead. Uh -huh. What type of school is offered at your school? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? What kinds of schools are offered at your school? What types of sports that are offered there? Oh, okay. So there's a lot of sports um, and, and, and things you can do at, at Notre Dame. So obviously football is the most popular. Um, usually a lot of people watch uh, our, our football team play against other universities. However, on, um, I would say the intramural level, intramural is when you get to participate in sports. So we have everything. We have football. So football is the most popular for our students to play. You can actually dress up like the football players on our football team and you get to play against other people at Notre Dame and the peep and you play kind of in a tournament style and the I would say the best two teams um, actually get to play in the Notre Dame football stadium where our, our our varsity football players get to play but we offer basketball we offer tennis soccer swimming and more I would say uh, unique uh, sports such as ping pong racquetball, horseshoes, okay? Yeah, you're, uh, now, you guys play in a Division One level? Yes, <laughs> so we play as Division One, and if you don't know what Division One is, that there's different tiers of uh, athletics, so a lot of the, I would say the most famous uh, universities play at the top level, and you can see those, those schools on TV. So if you see the football teams on TV, they're most likely Division One football teams. And the Division One are the only ones who are able to offer athletic scholarships, correct? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Do we have a wrestling team? Do we have a wrestling team? Uh, we don't have a Division One wrestling team, you but you can actually um, do it on the intramural level, meaning that uh, you won't get money for wrestling for Notre Dame, but you do it for fun at Notre Dame. Excellent. Okay. Trevor, go ahead. Do you have foosball? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Do you have a, do you have a foos, foos, foosball club? Do we have a foosball club? Uh, I'm not sure if we have a foosball club, but I know a lot of our dorm residents or the places that students live, there's a lot of foosball tables. So a lot of people like to stay up late to play foosball. There you go. Go ahead, Casey. Okay. What's my favorite football team? Um, obviously, it's going to be University of Notre Dame. So I didn't really like football when I came in uh, to, to Notre Dame. I didn't like football when I was growing up. Um, my family didn't understand football. But when you go to Notre Dame, a lot of people really uh, convince you to get into the Notre Dame spirit. So that's, I would always say, my first love is is Notre Dame football. Now, there's they always say there's nothing quite like... Uh... Notre Dame on uh, football Saturdays, right? Yes, it's it's a very magical experience. I mean, I've never been to a football game before. Um, my first football game was my freshman year as a student, and um, I had no idea what was going to be in store for me. But I bought my first football game ticket, and it was it was very amazing. I mean, it's very very crowded. People will actually make a vacation to go to Notre Dame football games. Um, and it's it's about a lot of people are surrounding the stadium. They actually tailgate, which is a tradition at Notre Dame. That what tailgating means is that they open the trunk of their car, and they actually bring like grills, and they have TV set up in the back of their car, and they uh, make burgers and and brats and steaks and hot dogs. So they eat before the game, and um, it's almost like a party outside the stadium. And then after that, they, we all go into the stadium to watch the game. Um, so it's it's a, a very, very spirited. Our marching band actually walks around the entire campus um, to kind of pep people up. The cheerleaders are also walking around campus, too. Um, and our football players walk around campus before the game to kind of uh, promote the spirit before the football game. Shall we have one more? Yeah. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, Ariane, you're up. What sort of things are there to do besides the football games? Okay, that's a good question. So when you're coming in as a student at Notre Dame, there's, we have a lot of things to do. So everything is on campus. We have, um, obviously, sports that you can participate in, as I had mentioned. Um, but you can also, there's a lot of clubs. 
So clubs um, are very similar to what you do in, uh, do in, uh, in school. There's like the yearbook club. There's um, um, kind of like drawing clubs. There's theater and singing clubs. Um, there's really unique clubs. So how many of you guys like Harry Potter? You guys like Harry Potter? Yay. So we actually have a Harry Potter club. And there actually is a Quidditch club here at Notre Dame. So you actually can see students um, on their on their fake brooms pretending that they can fly with capes on their necks. And they're throwing around a Quidditch ball on, on, on campus. So we can make, the many students have different types of clubs and they can make it. Um, so it doesn't have to be very serious clubs. It can be just for fun. So there's clubs on campus. Students like to... Um, do research, obviously, um, as part of their academics. Um, but we also um, do a lot of community service as well. We like to go out into the community, and we like to teach kids, like, at your age. We help, uh, we'll help them through school. We play with them. We have a mentoring system. And some students will actually travel um, to different countries to actually um, do service projects as well. Yeah. How many rivals? How many rivals do we have? So I mentioned before that we have um, one big rival. It's the University of Michigan. It spans all the way back um, probably to the 1840s. We also have a very uh, another famous rival. They're also in Michigan. It's Michigan State University. And then University of Southern California. University of Southern California is a really strange thing because it's a very, very far away uh, university from Notre Dame. But um, our, that tradition or that rivalry started way back in the 1920s when we actually would um, actually get our football team to travel all the way to California. And that's really difficult back then, back in the 1920s, to travel to California. We didn't have airplanes, so our, um, our football team actually had to get on the trains, and that would take almost a week to to. To, to travel to California, but we did it every year, and so it became a tradition to play football against University of Southern California. Excellent. Well, that leads us kind of right into our next question, which is number nine. Mm -hmm. Does your college have any tradition? Um, our, our college does have traditions, as I mentioned before. Um, a lot of them uh, revolve around football. So I mentioned about the tailgating and um, the marching band and the football players walking around campus. But one of our, our most famous traditions is that we have a main building. It has the Golden Dome on it. And this main building is a, a very symbolic building for us. So once you come in as a Notre Dame student, our main building actually has porches. Uh, porch steps that lead up to the main building. So as a Notre Dame student, once you come in, you cannot climb up the steps of the main building or you won't graduate. So a lot of our Notre Dame undergraduates will try to avoid going up and down those stairs um, because they're pretty they're, they're afraid they, they won't graduate if they walk up and down those stairs. So that's one of our biggest traditions as a, as a student here. Okay, What's our college best known for? What's our college best known for? As, as you know, probably our college is best known for football, but we're also known for being a, uh, I would say, a religious oh. university, a Catholic religious university that offers really good academics. So students here, they um, are allowed to practice their faith freely, and we can talk about it um, and not feel like we're afraid to be, um, that our, our opinions are different from others. So that's what makes Notre Dame very special, aside from the football. Now, do you have to be Catholic to attend Notre Dame? Uh, no, you don't have to be Catholic to attend Notre Dame. So about 20% of our students are not Catholic. Mm -hmm. And probably the best thing um, in order to succeed at Notre Dame is just to be open-minded. So be comfortable talking about your opinions and your religious opinions with other people and professors. That's the only thing you need to have. What was the question? Why do most people choose to attend Notre Dame? 
why do uh, most people choose to attend Notre Dame? Um, most people choose to attend Notre Dame because of the academics. Um, they, they really like um, our academic system, the different classes that you can take here. Um, obviously, people will choose it for football. Some people choose to come to Notre Dame because their parents uh, and their family have gone to Notre Dame. Um, and also, they choose to go to Notre Dame because it's a really freeing Catholic and religious atmosphere. Um, so it's, it's very strong on spirituality. Okay. We'll get to that. Number 12. How big is our campus? Um, as I said, it's a medium-sized campus, so it we don't have to have cars or buses or shuttles to get around campus, so we all walk around um, from one end to another. It's a top 20-minute walk, but on average, our students, they only take 10 minutes to get from the places where they sleep to um, to their classrooms. So it's only, it's about 10 minutes average. So it's a good medium-sized campus, but not too big. Excellent. Number 14. What are the most popular um, mm -hmm. What is the most popular areas of study at your school? I would say right now our most popular areas of study is business. So if you're interested in opening your own business or working for big, um, big companies like you, like Target or um, General Electric or Microsoft, um, a lot of people like to go into business here. People like to go into the sciences, especially um, if you're interested in being a doctor or a dentist or a vet or veterinarian, people go into pre-professional, which prepares them for medical school. Um, other people like political science, the study of governments and politics. Um, also psychology, which is the study of studying human behavior and studying your mind. Um, so those are our most popular majors. What's the cost of our school? Our school per year is um, about $45,000 per year, um, and it changes from year to year, and that includes a lot of things, okay? 16. Does your school offer scholarships? Mm -hmm. Our school offers um, some small scholarships. Um, they're for um, different types of students. Um, one specific scholarship is awarded to 25 students per year, and you get about $25,000 per year in how many years you're at Notre Dame. So it's some small scholarships, but when you get a little older, you'll learn a lot of more about financial aid. And for us, um, there are some scholarships, but also a lot of our um, money goes to students who really, really need it. Okay. Do we have any famous alumni? We have a lot of famous alumni. Um, obviously, uh, we have famous alumni in the sports area uh, or in the football uh, area. If um, Joe Montana is definitely a big one. We have Brady Quinn, uh, who graduated a year before me. He actually is playing for the Broncos right now. We have uh, Jeff Samarja. He actually is a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. Um, we have... Larry Dolan, who owns the Cleveland Indians baseball team. Um, and But we also have a lot of other different alums in different areas. So our most famous alum is Theodore Hesburgh. And he's a really old guy. He's about 92 years old. And he was the president of Notre Dame for about 35 years. And he actually worked uh, for three presidents as um, uh, under three U.S. presidents. Um, and he also worked closely with Martin Luther King to bring about civil rights uh, back in the 1960s. So he's the most famous alum because he actually holds the world record of honorary degrees or degrees or awards that are given to somebody for their accomplishments. He holds the Guinness World Record of um, honorary degrees awarded to a single man. He has about 150 honorary degrees. Okay. Um, other uh, more famous, uh, I would say, alumni is if you ever watch ESPN, there's a commentator. Her name is 
Hannah Storm. She's a Notre Dame alum. Um, it's probably a little bit over your head, but if you watch or if you read GQ magazine, the editor in chief is Jim Nelson. He is a Notre Dame alum. Um, if you also watch CBS Sports, Don Crickey is a Notre Dame alum. If your parents watch Regis and Kelly live in the morning, Regis Philman is a Notre Dame alum, very, very famous. Um, and we have a few other people as well. Michael Good, he's a NASA astronaut. Um, Dr. James Mueller, he won the Nobel Peace Prize for Physics. Um, Condoleezza Rice, um, the former Secretary of State under George, Pres uh, uh, George Bush, she was also a Notre Dame alum as well. So there's a lot of Notre Dame alums. Excellent. I have a question for you. When you are looking at acceptance at Notre Dame, uh, is it based strictly on merit, or do they take into consideration a holistic approach when looking at applicants for the university? Yeah. So when we're looking at applications for um, our students, we actually look at a holistic approach. However, academics are probably the most important thing um, it, for students who are considering Notre Dame. That means uh, we're looking for good grades, we're also good looking for high test scores, and also what type of classes you've been taking in high school. So it's a little bit far in advance, but if you're interested in going to Notre Dame, you, you do have to be a good student because some of the classes here are tough. The other question I have is being that you guys are out in, in uh, quite a distance from, from us here in New Jersey, Mm -hmm. Is there a large population of students who do stay around on the weekends rather than, you know, that our commuters or, or head home uh, to, their, to their families on the weekends? Mm -hmm. Please excuse the interruption. Oh, <laughs> Food from the luncheon yesterday is out in the teacher's room. Please help yourself. Plates are limited. You may need to bring your own. Sorry about that. That's All okay. Right, last question, DJ. Go ahead. What do you like most about your what do I like most about my college? I would say um, a lot of things. It's very difficult to say which one is my favorite. Um, obviously, football is my favorite. A lot of the Notre Dame spirit. We're very spirited at Notre Dame. Um, we really are proud of our university, and it shows, especially during football games, when no matter what happens during the football games, whether we win or lose, uh, we always will be behind our Notre Dame players, athletes. Um, I had a really good time traveling abroad. Traveling abroad is an opportunity where you get to live and study in another country. So I was able to study abroad in France, um, which is really cool because I got to live in a different culture, try different food, and make a lot of different friends from other cultures as well. So I had a really fun time there. Um, probably the best thing about Notre Dame is that uh, we have we would say the community of Notre Dame. A lot of students, they believe that even though we're not related, we all belong to the Notre Dame family. So no matter what year you graduate or um, how much older somebody is, we always treat each other like family. And I always feel like I have a bigger family uh, who will take care of me wherever I am in, in the world or even in America. Excellent. I think that, uh, I mean, that's definitely portrayed when you, when anytime you view any of the Notre Dame events, it, it's certainly mm -hmm. a tight-knit community, and I think that, you know, that Catholic background also is something that's very strong with the university mm -hmm. and, and, and promotes that family style. Um, yeah. Stephanie, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to talk to us. This was one of the most anticipated interviews we've done, <laughs> and you certainly didn't disappoint us. Uh, we've been waiting and waiting for the, um, for the, uh, the uh, Notre Dame interview, so it was it was great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks for having me, and good luck with the rest of the school year. Thank you Enjoy. very much. Have a great Have afternoon. A great Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.